Hi guys, it's William. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make brownie pancakes. That's it. So easy and simple to make because it's pancakes, so let's be honest. It's one of the easiest things to do in the world. And these pancakes will taste like heaven on a plate. Basically, they are brownie pancakes. So they are fudgy, filled with chocolate chips, also pecans if you want to use that. And I'm also going to make a chocolate syrup in this recipe so you will see how delicious this all came out. So let's get started with our pancake batter. So first of all, as you would make brownies, I'm going to melt some butter with chocolate. I'm using very dark chocolate, so 70% cocoa if you can find it. And then I'm going to let it rest for about five minutes. For the dry ingredients, I'm going to use some all-purpose flour, as always, with some cocoa powder, just to intensify the cocoa taste of these pancakes and to make them even richer. And I'm going to add baking soda and vanilla to make them rise and be super tall. So I'm mixing that well to get rid of any lumps, as you know, cocoa powder tends to have a lot of lumps. And then I'm going to let that aside. Okay, so now that our chocolate is cool, I'm going to add one egg and whisk well. Perfect, now I'm adding some buttermilk to make them very moist and delicious. I love to use buttermilk in pancakes. You can also use regular milk if you cannot find buttermilk, but please use full fat. Perfect, adding a touch of sugar to balance out the bitterness from the cocoa powder. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So amazing, our pancake batter looks perfect. As you can see, I'm not using a whisk anymore just to not overbeat the batter. It will make them tough, so please just use a spatula, it will be better. And then I'm going to add the decadent ingredients. So I'm using a mixture of pecans and of course some chocolate chips. I let my batter rest for 10 minutes and now we can move on and cook our pancakes on the stove top. I'm using a greased pan, of course, with just a tiny tad of butter or vegetable oil as you want. And I'm just going to cook my pancakes for about two minutes on the first side and then one minute on the other side. You can flip your pancakes when you have bubbles that are reaching the top of the surface of the pancake. And it is as simple as that. Our pickings are done, so now I want to show you how to make this amazing chocolate syrup, which is very, very easy because it's a syrup and not caramel. And so what I'm doing is just bring up to a boil water and sugar for about five minutes or until the sugar fully dissolves in the water and then I'm going to add some cocoa powder. Perfect, I'm going to let that boil for about five minutes or until my syrup is very, very hot and full of bubbles. It will also thicken, but not too much because it's a syrup and not caramel once again. And then once it's ready, I'm going to add the final ingredients, which are a pinch of salt and some vanilla extract. I'm always using that in all of my recipes, even chocolate. And that's how you do a chocolate syrup. That's it. So as you can see, my pancakes are very, very thick and beautiful. They taste amazing, so please put a lot of chocolate chips. It changes everything. And please add the syrup, it also changes everything. You can also use, of course, maple syrup or any syrup that you want. Caramel would be out of this world. You can find the list of ingredients in the description box down below this video. 
And you can also find this social media where to find me. Everything is linked right down this video. And I will see you next time for another amazing recipe. Bye!